hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how to download a image using view view.js and axios in javascript so i will be executing view.js on the browser so there is a download button if i hit this button a image will be downloaded you can see that image.jpg as the attachment if i open this image you will see that this image will be there you can see that this is the image so this this is the image which is present on my uh, local host server here you can see that if i go to local host 5500 slash image dot jpg so this is the image i am downloading using view dot js so let me just start the process from scratch so just delete it. make it just index.html file and here inside this directory i have this image available to me image dot jpg you can see that my text editor, editor is uh, atom so you can use any text editor of your choice so this is visual studio code not atom so just make a simple layout so just change the title to download image in view.js and for this we also need to grab the view.js cdn so just search on google view.js cdn and uh, just click on this link cdnjs.com and you need to grab the cdn of view.js so this is the cdn view main.js copy it and uh, just make a script tag and inside the source paste the cdn that's it now view.js is included now after that we also need to have a div tag provide a id to it of app so basically this will be the parent component of view.js applications inside this we will be having a simple button the label will be simply download or image and in order to bind a on click event handler in view.js at the rate click so when we click this button this function will execute which is on click parentheses just do this so now we have successfully binded a button here so if i just refresh the application you will see a button is there of download image now we just need to write this function which we have provided here on click so just after this make a script tag after the body so inside the script we just need to initialize our app by new view so this is a syntax inside curly brackets so inside this we just need to provide some options first is the element so whatever the element that we are targeting we are targeting it by the id so hatch symbol app next we have the methods property so what methods we are writing so we need to provide this methods property so this will be a object so set of curly brackets so inside this only one method is there which is on click so we need to define this method we can just define any statement of our choice let's suppose we define an alert statement now if i click the button you will see alert statement will be coming here so whatever you write inside this on click it will be executed when you ex when you click the button so now in our case we need to download this image which is there inside our browser or server so we need to provide a url property so inside this url property we can just write http localhost the port number is 5500 and the image name is image dot jpg after providing the url put a comma and the method here in this case if you are using sorry here we just need to initialize the axios library because we need to surround this all this stuff so just define axios here inside this axios we need to put a set of curly brackets so inside this there is a url property we need to define this url property which will be http localhost 5500 and this image dot jpg the second is the method so the method is simply get because we are getting this request so just provide this method after method there is a colon 
So inside, just provide get here. And the third argument will be the response type. So response type in this case will be blob because image is a blob. So just provide here blob. That's it. So now this returns a promise. So we need to handle this promise by dot then function. So just write here dot then. So basically this will be a callback function which will execute whenever it is completed. So this is the arrow function. So the response will be there inside this response variable. Now we just need to make the image URL. So just declare a file URL variable and inside this we can just write window dot URL dot create object URL. So we will use this function and here we just need to pass new blob new blob and inside this we just need to pass in square brackets response dot data so whatever the data which is there we need to construct a blob object that's it after constructing the url we need we just need to make a simple link for making the link we will be using the anchor tag so we can just create this inside javascript by document dot create element and inside this we can just write a a stands for anchor tag and then we can just attach some properties to it which is href href will be equal to the file url that we have constructed at the top after that we need to set some attributes file url sorry file link dot set attribute so set attribute there is a download attribute that we need to set so here the first argument will be download and this needs to be set to whatever is the value so we need to provide a image name so whenever the image is downloaded it will be downloaded by this name so we will just provide the image dot jpg so you can just change the name of the image to whatever of your choice lastly we just need to add this link to the body so we will use this document dot body dot append child method and pass this uh, file link and lastly we need also need to click it uh, programmatically so we can just call the click function file link click that's it so this is the whole application and now if I refresh the browser if I click download image you will see that uh, let me just see what is the problem it is saying to me that axios is not defined so I think that we haven't included the axios library that is why it is yes so we also need to import the axios cdn so it is pretty simple you need to search on axios cdn so this is a website cdnjs.com so just import this uh, copy this cdn and right here at the top make again script tag and inside the source paste the link here that's it now if I refresh it hopefully it will not have a problem if I click download image now you will see that it is automatically the image has been downloaded if I open the image you will see that this is the image so in this way guys you can download any sort of image file PDF file inside view.js on the browser side in JavaScript using axios so this was a complete tutorial so if you like this tutorial then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video